the the easiest way of explaining Jensen is essentially a marketplace over all of the machine learning capable compute hardware in the world so that it can be used by anyone to train a machine learning model. So right now, uh, those users, if you did want to train a machine learning model, you would have to find somebody who's going to rent you the hardware required to train it. Uh, you might be able to buy that hardware yourself, but if you can't, uh, for whatever reason, you can't put the capital up front, you'll probably rent it from a major cloud provider like Google or Amazon or Microsoft, or maybe kind of one of the smaller providers who can give you access to some compute, but not as much of, as those big providers. Jensen's a kind of very, very wide distribution of any device in the world. So any device that can do machine learning computations can be connected up and then can just be used by somebody else in the world. So it kind of breaks down that, which company do I go for uh, and changes it into this, okay, someone in the world has hardware that I can use and I need to be able to have a contract with that person. In the traditional world, you would have a legal contract, you would have like customer service, you'd have infrastructure that was built there so that you could actually get your models to the device and things like that. Uh, the Jensen protocol essentially replaces all of that with technology so that via the kind of typical infrastructure ways, we can get the models to the user, to the uh, compute itself. And instead of having contracts and legal agreements and things, we have essentially smart contracts and everything settled at the consensus of the suppliers themselves, rather than having this person sat in the middle saying, you can have this relationship, you can't, um, you can send this model over here, you can't, etc. It's all kind of done the collective sort of governance of everyone together.